Hello comrades, Commissar Bro here today. It is August 26, 1940, that's right. And I'm just gonna bumble my way through this game. That's right. Now, you guys were awesome and provided a whole bunch of tips on uh, a lot of different stuff, especially like the roads. That was a really big one for me. Thanks for, uh, for reminding me. Excuse me, not reminding me because I didn't know. But thanks for clarifying that for me, that um, roads do essentially only operate as a way for militaries to move around faster. Maybe it's just me, but I think just a good mechanic overall is when, um, you know, games really simulate the importance of infrastructure and, you know, uh, industrial and even economic, like, respects you know what I mean because like a like roads and railroads and whatnot if you didn't have them your goods would be being like <laughs> taken over dusty trails and whatnot so even when it's just minor passive bonuses and stuff like that I really like it when that's kind of a feature of a game like you know making history uh, all of them really all of them have at least some sort of minor economic effect on it so yeah that's just something something I uh, wanted to mention but yeah like I said thanks so much for everyone who was so kind to provide comments and tips on how to play this game this is something I've always kind of struggled with in this game is because I've never really bothered with the tutorial I'm not even gonna lie I'm not gonna act like I did um, and I've kind of figured it out as I've gone along and yeah so so I just kind of experiment really and that's what a lot of my games end up being in this is just me experimenting to see what works the best um, or at least you know what helps me do stuff like I think my most successful game is I played the 2020 scenario and I played as Germany and uh, I went to war with Russia and like it's its whole block that it was allied with and whipped all of their asses like it was pretty brutal <laughs> it was pretty damn brutal but I beat the crap out of the Russians so it was really cool it was really cool but uh, yeah yeah I don't know if I'm gonna be able to replicate that in this one playing in Spain but damn if we're not gonna try so without further ado let's start talking business ladies and gentlemen like how do we think we want to do this I kinda like to build extras of resources like agriculture you know and whatnot just to make sure that I am uh, pumping out a decent amount of resources for my uh, country because I know that if you don't have enough resources um, it could prob it could be a big pain in the ass like every time I play this game I played as Japan quite a few times before and I'm convinced it was a glitch because by the time uh, 1942 rolls around there is no oil no one is producing oil, no one has oil, and there's no way to get more oil. So it's kind of annoying, but <laughs> again, I'm not sure if that's just something that I've experienced or if that's something everyone's experienced. I think it might just be a me issue. Um, and I, even then, I think they kind of patched a bit of it earlier, not too long ago. So they might have fixed a bunch of the complaints that I had in that respect. In the meantime, should we build a research center? That's pretty expensive. Honestly, I just want oil. I need oil, and I don't think Spain has any oil. Let's see. Do we actually have the... Okay, we have oil gas fields. No. Spain has off the coast right there. That's the only oil we have. And off the coast right here. Well, that's kind of disappointing. <laughs> Was really hoping for a bit more oil. Yeah, that would have been nice. It would have been really nice. Wow, look at all that oil in Africa. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Egypt's loaded. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, who didn't know that, though, right? Who didn't know that? Um, okay, so we don't have any oil to build, which is no bueno. No bueno at all. Um, which that could end up being a problem later on down the road. Yes, most certainly. What I'm going to do though right now is I'm actually going to build some more timber. Yeah, that's right. Have we can have like a like a, just a ridiculous amount? Well, actually, no. What is our before I do anything? And I don't. Yes, yeah, see, I'm not producing any rubber either. I don't think we have like any rubber plants in this this region. Rubber plantation. Yeah, I don't think 
I don't really know about rubber plantations. That's something else. If anybody has any suggestions on rubber plantations, does rubber work the same as uh, oil? Like there's uh, just certain areas you can build it or there's certain prerequisites that you need to be able to build it. Yeah, that's something else I would really love to know uh, for the future. Like I said, guys, this is going to be everyone working together to teach the Commissar how to be good at Supreme Ruler because this is a game I would love to really get into and really get good at. So, yeah, if you guys want to assist me in that, that would be great. That would be absolutely great. Military complex. So land production, that's what we want. I want a little bit of extra land production. I want to be able to compete with these other guys in terms of um, actual... Yeah, see, there we go. That's there's comes with the barracks. Okay. Yeah, I want to be able to compete with these other big countries as far as military goes if I'm going to be able to take them on. So, yeah. Let's take a look at research. We should actually build a research center. That's something I've kind of been toying around with. I've been thinking about it. Or maybe let's look at our military goods first. I'm so easily distracted <laughs> when it comes to this game. Okay, so we don't have a whole bunch of electric power. Um, yeah. Of course, we don't really have much uranium. No big deal. Um, metal ore. Okay, we have enough metal ore production, it seems like. We have a lot of capacity for it as well. That's something I never really understood either. Is, are they not working? Because we have plenty of metal ore facilities and plenty of capacity. So does it increase by itself or what? Something else that you guys can explain to me um, and hold my hand. Let's see, military goods, actual use. The demand is high. Okay, so we should probably get popping on some of our industrial goods stuff. So we definitely need consumer goods. Let's just build. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and max that one out um, to have a little bit of extra. We can start selling any excess goods to other peoples if they want to buy it. They might not want to because the market price is relatively high but yeah uh, let's see industry goods we definitely need industrial goods and that's probably because we're building so much stuff again if I'm incorrect just correct me um, so we're gonna build more of those and uh, Alcorcon is that how was that what that is yeah Alcorcon okay and we are out of money we spent all of our money in like one turn nice nice real nice <laughs> all right but our approval rating, 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 our approval rating is slowly going up. I think our GDP has gone up as well. We are at 289, uh, with unemployment only at a measly 3.6 percent of our total population. Um, inflation is kind of high at 11.1 percent, but I'm I don't mind that much. That's fine. We're we're building and we're doing a lot of stuff. We're getting a lot of stuff done. So it's not that big of a deal, not that big of a deal at all. So essentially, what we're doing at this point is we're just kind of we're just kind of waiting um, for things to happen. We are building consumer, industrial. We're building a lot of places, so we're going to be a little low on money for the next probably for the next three to four months is what I'm thinking. Right. So, how is the world looking right now? Well. And again, I like playing games without Fog of War on, but because this game is so massive and it would lag the piss out of the game if I did that, I decided to not or to play with Fog of War off. Just FYI. Plus, this is one of those games I don't mind not having Fog of War. But anyway, so this is the world. Um, it seems Germany hasn't taken over. Um, actually, no, they have. They have they have they already forced these guys? Yeah, no, they're at war with them now. Interesting. Okay. German, Bohemia, Moravia. All right, right, yeah, because that totally makes a lot of sense. Whatever. So this is the German Slovak Republic. This is the German Bohemian Moravia. Uh, we got Hungary. We got Yugoslavia. What do we got? We got Romania, which is looking a little big. Yeah, for this, the way this map is set up, this is big. Yeah, because they haven't taken over this region yet. That's right. And then you've got the USSR, which is ridiculously rich and large. And actually, we're on really good terms with them. That's interesting. Very interesting. Um, Bulgaria. Actually, you know what? No, that does make sense because the Russians, uh, assist. they sent a lot of assistance to... Um, I thought they assisted the Republican Spain, though. If we're, we're nationalist Spain... Okay, yeah, so I'm not sure about that. I don't know about that. 
whatever, no big deal. Anyway, so that's the world as it is currently. We, uh, we can see that the war is on full-fledged, it seems like. Germany is beating all of its opponents, and Hitler looks really pissed with his little mustache there. So, yeah, things are happening, ladies and gentlemen. Things are happening. And we're actually on good terms with a lot of the Allied powers, which is probably a good thing, considering we want to be on the winning side. <laughs> we want to be on the winning side. I wonder if they have my town in this game. Yeah, look, that's that's where I live, guys, right there. Yeah, Sumter, Moik City. Yeah, 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 that's right. Don't visit. <laughs> it's not that nice. It's all right though. It's all right. No, it's it's okay. But I, I wouldn't really recommend it to my friends or anybody. You know, not to to live here. You know, I wouldn't recommend that. Check out our timber production. Looking good. Looking good. We have lots of production, lots of capacity, and we're trading lots of it. So, yeah. We're trading all of our excess timber, which is good. Um, I mean, basically what we make it for is what it costs, so it's not that big of a deal. But, yeah, it's nice, though, that we have it, right? Right. All right, industrial goods. We are completely out of industrial goods, and we are spending money on getting those industrial goods that we need. Okay, improved AA guns, launch physics, armor designs level 3, M4285 millimeter towed gun. All right, all right. Maybe we should focus on less war stuff. Like, how about commercial refrigeration? That seems like a pretty good idea. Oh, but that's really expensive. Oh, goodness. Oh, my God, all this stuff is so expensive. Look at that. $220 million. Good Christ. They don't need that much money. Maybe the isotope separation process. I can understand needing a lot of money for that. But mobile steel barges? Okay, well, that's actually not expensive. That's only $70 million. Whatever. <laughs> but like radio frequency transponder, $800 million. It's 1940. What the fuck do you need $800 million for? You want to buy a country for $800 million? Jesus. <laughs> Just acting like I got money falling out of my pockets here. What is this? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. All right. So some of our facilities being built, yes. Our land production facilities, which are pretty much the most expensive thing we're trying to beat right now, uh, build right now, um, they're almost finished. Once those get finished, I imagine production is going to speed up in other locations just because, again, those are very expensive facilities as well as those research centers. And I want to build me a research center, but that's going to have to wait. That'll just have to wait. Yep, yippers. All right, what are my resources? What am I looking like on coal? Okay, good. We have plenty of food, too. Check that out. Look at that. We are trading away a lot of excess agriculture, and I guess we're making money on that. We should probably focus more on agriculture. Why not? That yeah, might not be a bad idea. Might not be a bad idea at all. At all. Look, it's cheaper to buy uranium right now than it is to make it. Uh. <laughs> well, and look. Food, food per ton is more expensive than uranium per ton. What kind of sick world do we live in where uranium is worthless? My goodness gracious, this is a terrible, terrible world. Domestic price is too high. Yeah, I agree with that. They are way too high. Um, but we have plenty. We, ooh, no, we don't have plenty. In just six months, we've gone through seven million stock we literally have 291 days of sustainability but petroleum we don't even have a year's worth of petroleum left and we're not producing any and no one has any oh i hate petroleum in this game i get there was the whole petroleum crisis or whatnot but do we really have to worry that much about it like is it really that big of a deal guys come in come in I'm surprised Germany hasn't declared war on uh, Russia yet. Speaking of which, let's look one more time at where oil is in our general vicinity, shall we? Yes, oil. Okay, so Russia has a fuck ton of oil. Look at all the oil Russia has. Good Christ. Ugh. That's just ridiculous. It's obscene. And then, of course, Texas has an absolutely ridiculous amount of oil, and the United States has an absolutely ridiculous amount of oil refineries. 
Of course, of course. But like this whole fucking area right here is no oil. None. Nada. Not a pinch. Not a pinch. And I don't know how to get those offshore facilities. That's something else I'd like you guys to be able to explain to me. Do you have to have a certain type of station to do that or what? Is is, is that is that how that works? Uh can't wait to hear about that one because I'm kind of curious as to how that works. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. We should build more agriculture in the meantime because why not? Let's slow down our production cues even faster. <laughs> Bring them to a grinding halt. I don't want anything to get done in my empire. Nothing. Not a single thing. I guess I should focus on infantry. Like, if there's not going to be any oil, I should probably just build a bunch of infantry and that's it. Like, no vehicles. They won't be able to work. No vehicles at all. Oh, look, finally, we're getting some production on our industrial goods. Sweet, bubbly goodness. Yeah, that's right, because all that stuff's getting finished. That's good. That's good. Everything's going as planned. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, this has been Commissar Bro bumbling my way through Supreme Ruler Ultimate. Again, if you have any tips, if you have any suggestions, if you uh, can answer some of the questions that I've asked in this video, I would absolutely love to hear from you because you, you'll definitely assist me uh, in playing this game because I want to I play it, I want to enjoy it, and I want to have fun. And I want you guys to have fun watching. So, do I not own that? Do, do I, I got a lot of troops there. Looks like I own it, but okay. I guess I own this one. That's that's a different country. Yeah, that's Spanish Morocco. It's a colony. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. But yeah, this has been Commissar Bro. Like I said, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have tips on how I can get more oil, tell me right now. Because it's it's going to be an issue here pretty soon. Ooh, my approval rating's down to 22%. We should probably fix that because that's not good. Unemployment's going up. GDP is going down. I kind of wonder why. Is it because I built all these buildings? Is it? Am I hurting the economy? Am I breaking the bank here because of it? Is it because of the high tax rate and the low social rating? Yeah, I don't care. I don't care about my people as long as they don't rebel. Can you have rebellions in this game? That's another good question. I would really like to know that. Anyway, this has been Comments Our Bro. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys next time in Supreme Ruler, Spain, 1940. That's right. Well, 1941 now. So. Anyway, see y'all later.